I need you to come on down closer to the front. I need you to come on down closer to the front. If there is an empty pew in front of you, don't sit down until. Let's come on down quickly, quickly, quickly. See, you're making my sermon longer already. Come on down quickly, quickly. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Just said, come on down. Yes, sir. Thank you. You may be seated. You may be seated. All right. Turn into your Bible. Turn in your Bible to Luke chapter 7. I, I am accustomed to walking around when I preach it. I'm slightly out of my element to have to stand still, but we're going to get there. All right, <laughs> sir. Luke chapter 7. I have been given the area of assignment for today. Yes. We are posing the question, are you ready for leaders? Yes. Now that's the area that we are aiming from today. Are you ready yes, sir. for leaders? Are you ready for leaders? Luke chapter 7, I'm going to read several verses. I will be reading from the New American Standard. Verse number 1 of Luke chapter 7. When he had completed all his discourse in the hearing of the people, mm -hmm. he went to Capernaum. And a centurion slave who was highly regarded by him was sick and about to die. All right. When he heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders asking him to come and save the life of his slave. When they came to Jesus, they earnestly implored him, saying, hmm. He is worthy for you to grant this to him, mm -hmm. for he loves our nation, and it was he who built us our synagogue. Now Jesus started on his way with them, and when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends, saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself further, for I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. All right. For this reason, I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. But just say the word, hmm. and my servant will be healed. Yes. For I also am a man placed under authority, with soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, 